Hello everyone, I am Swati, Assistant Professor from the Department of Nutrition and Dietetics, KSA College of Arts and Science, Pagamen. In this video, we are going to see about Nutritional Life Cycle Unit 1. Menu Planning Menu Planning is the process of planning and scheduling intake of meals for general or specific individual requirements. This is a tool for maintaining a healthy lifestyle and it ensures that you are getting all the necessary nutrients and avoiding unhealthy options. Objectives of Menu Planning Meeting the nutritional needs of all individuals, minimizing food budget, considering food based on member preferences and taste, preparing the food in such a way that no nutrients are lost, reducing time and energy expenditure. Planning balanced diet. Balanced diet contains different types of foods in such quantities and proportions uh, so that the need for calorie, protein, mineral, vitamins and other nutrients is adequately met. The balanced diet should provide around 60-70% to 70 of total calories from carbohydrate, 10-12% to 12 from protein and 20-25% to 25 from fat. Balanced diet should meet nutrition requirement, provide phytochemicals, prolong uh, productive life, improves immunity, develops optimum cognitive ability, help in coping stress, ability to withstand short duration of leanness, covers energy expenditure and for tissue maintenance, repair and growth. Food exchange list. Uh, food exchange list are the basis of meal planning. They are the foods, uh, groups of measured foods of the same calorific value and similar protein, fat and carbohydrate. This is based on the principles of good nutrition that apply to uh, everyone through extremely helpful for diabetes. It helps in manipulation of protein, calories and other nutrients. Nutrition in pregnancy. The energy needs uh, during pregnancy increases because of the growth and physical activity of the fetus. Growth of the placenta and maternal tissue. Increase in the maternal body size, deposition of fat, additional work involved in carrying the weight of the fetus. Um, slow, and, uh, slow but steady rise in basal metabolic rate during pregnancy. Protein. The normal protein requirement of an adult is 55 gram per day. ICMR prescribed an additional amount of 23 gram for a pregnant woman for the rapid growth of the fetus, increase in the maternal circulating blood volume and subsequent demand of increased plasma protein to maintain colloidal osmotic pressure for the formation of amniotic fluid, the transfer of amino acids from the mother to fetus. Fat. Omega-3 fatty acids are required for normal conception, growth and development of the embryo. Pregnant women should consume at least 200 mg per day DHA for optimal health and fetal development. DHA plays a critical role in both vision and cognitive function acuity. Calcium. Calcium requirement suggested by ICMR for an adult woman is 600 mg per day. Requirement uh, increases during pregnancy to 1200. Iron. Normal iron requirement for an adult woman is 21 mg per day. ICMR requirements during pregnancy is 35 mg per day. Uh, iron is also required for growth of fetus and placenta. To achieve these levels, mother must transfer 240 mg of uh, iron to the fetus during gestation. Physiological changes in pregnancy. Total plasma volume in a non-pregnant woman averages 2600 ml. By 34 weeks, it is about 50% greater than it was uh, at conception. Blood volume expands by 50% resulting in decrease in the hemoglobin levels. Gastrointestinal motility diminishes. Increased blood volume produces a high glomerular filtration rate. Ability to excrete water is lowered and edema in the legs and ankles is common and normal. Developmental stages of embryo. Fertilization. Fertilization is the union of the female gamete egg and the male gamete a spermatozoa. Blastosis development. Blastosis uh, forms about 5 to 6 days after a sperm fertilizes, uh, fertilizes an egg. Uh, blastocyst implantation and the blastocyst re reaches the uterus it implants in the endometrium which lines the uterus embryo development blastocyst reaches the final uh, steps in the implantation process into the inner lining of the uterus and evolves uh, into a structure called embryo fetal development by the 12 week of fertilization in the embryo moves into the final stage of development called the fetal stage by now the fetus has formed all the organs and structures necessary for a baby complications in pregnancy anemia According to WHO, UNICEF and UNO, uh, pregnant woman is anemic if the hemoglobin level is below 11 gram per day. Uh, anemia in pregnancy accounts for 1 by 5th of the uh, maternal deaths worldwide. Uh, it is because of the increased cellular proliferation, megaloblastic anemia results in intensified nausea, vomiting and anorexia. Constipation, the pressure on of the enlarging uterus on the lower portion and hormonal muscle relaxant effect result in constipation. Edema, mild physiologic edema is usually present in the extremities in the uh, third trimester. Pregnancy induced hypertension. It is common uh, on uh, inadequate diets with little or no prenatal care. The symptoms include hypertension, uh, normal and excessive edema, albinuria, convulsions or coma. Hypertension. Uh, the nutrition therapy will center on prevention of uh, weight extremes, underweight or obesity. 
management of any related pre existing disease such as diabetes mellitus sodium intake may be moderate but should not be unduly restricted gestational diabetes uh, mellitus uh, it is not uncommon it is not uncommon it is because of the increased the circulating blood volume and its load of metabolites nutritional lactation uh, it is essential to meet her own daily needs to provide enough nutrients in milk uh, to furnish the energy for the mechanisms of milk production energy uh, during the six months uh, would be 600 kilo- kilocalories and for partial breastfeeding during seven to 12 months it would be approximately 520 kilocalories the study of energy requirement of lactating women is based on the milk output protein the nutrition expert 25 committee has recommended uh, during uh, lactation on additional intake of 19 gram for first six months and 13 gram during 7 to 12 months of lactation fat a lactating mother should consume 200 uh, milligram per uh, per day dha for optimal health and infant development calcium breastfeeding is associated with transfer of approximately 200 milligram per day for, of calcium from mother to the infant iron uh, both during pregnancy and lactation 1200 milligram has been prescribed by icmr fluid a lactating mother should take two to three liters of fluid per day composition of breast milk uh, the nutrients present in the human milk uh, water 88 gram energy 65 kilocalories protein 1.1 gram carbohydrates 7.4 gram fat 3.4 gram calcium 28 gram phosphorus 11 gram iron is nil beta carotene is 41 microgram thiamine 0.02 gram riboflavin 0.02 gram vitamin c 3 3 milligram uh, carcinogen and lactalbumin ratio 1, 1 is to 2 influence of mother's diet on the quantity and quality of milk production adequate nutrient intake during the first year of life is critical for an infant's proper growth and development in the first half of the year human milk is essential uh, source of nutrients uh, sufficient long chain polyunsaturated fatty acids during the first two years of life is critical for the growth and development of uh, central nervous system trans fatty acid synthesis is limited in the human body uh, therefore the main source of these fatty acids in human milk is the maternal diet human milk fatty acid profile is affected by the immediate diet consumed by the mother habitual dietary habits can also impact the fatty acid profile of human milk thank you